favorites. So for me, Slovenia looks like favorites. I would agree, Clifford. But the Dutch now have something to prove after their women got uh, pretty much annihilated in that final. Witafian blows past Rota there. And so that's and the first basket for the Netherlands. Rota just uh, recovering a little bit from something there. Ravenstein guarding him well. Yeah, I'm sure um, the Dutch men's team doesn't want to repeat of what happened in the women's finals and they want to go on and win. But uh, the concern I have is um, so they had a tough time in the semi-finals against Sri Lanka. So if they're going to play like that, I'm sure Slovenia will just simply thrash them. But it's the finals, you never know. Yes, I think they might have been uh, trying to save the energy for the finals against the Sri Lankan team. Suddenly got a rude shot. Van Weingarten. So Slovenia, a good team and they communicate very well. They have better understanding. Some fantastic passing so far I've seen in this championship. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, I was just saying that. <laughs> Dekanovic finding Triniak under the basket. That's the play that they have made work for them so well. Triniak again getting his body in the way there so that Fanai couldn't uh, rebound that cleanly. Van Weingarten gets that this time. Ravenstein. In fact, that was Ravenstein, not Fanaik. Very similar body language from both those players. Ravenstein to Witafian. Witafian trying to back into Dekanovic. Ravenstein's shot is no good. A nice cut from Rota and a good finish as well. Kovacevic does really well to keep that out. So it's everything to play for. He's only for Netherlands, Sharnaka. Because Slovenia is right now, they have already pretty much in the, uh, the comfort zone, I would say. So even if they lose, they win the league. So Netherlands, they really have to play up. Ravenstein makes the free throw and that's a nice pass again to Triniak that play has been so good got the ball on a string almost the Slovenians when they pass that ball into Triniak like that Ravenstein let's fly from a long range and just can't control the ball with a fin so not many of them are focusing on the rebounds so it's just only uh, as a matter of fact that Slovenia start moving that ball around and going for those shots and beautiful passing already but Netherlands they have to keep pushing they're doing so far so good they continue to push like that now they chance for them there you go that's their skipper Van Hike. Well, great work from uh, Van Eyck and good presence of mind after making the steal to keep cutting but Slovenia are uh, looking for a clean sweep they won all four legs before this Bill, let's go. and that is a foul a blocking foul on for Nike Triniak as uh, he's a big lad makes his presence really felt so these guys have won all four legs so far and they'll be looking to make a clean sweep of it it's three points all in this all-important final in the three by three under 23 nations league Stop five live from Colombo, Sri Lanka. The shadows have lengthened a little bit here at the Sir John Kotalawala Defense University where this tournament is being staged. Triniak back to Dekanovic and from the three throw line, Dekanovic can't make it count. 
goes in again, but uh, Fanai gets a hand to it. Manages to get the rebound. Rota with the steal and the foul. Fanai fouls. And again, a little bit of pressure on the Dutch building. There's nothing much to separate these two teams. Already three minutes gone on the clock. It's three all. Oh no! Kovacevic upset with himself that he didn't get that to go. And the Dutch protesting, saying, All I did was have my hands up, sir. But uh, that was a foul. Kovacevic using his body nicely to protect the ball. That was a nice conversion there. So it's 4 3 now. Slovenia leading. Oh, beautiful pass, but intercepted. And chance for Slovenia to turn things around. Look at that power. Just simply using his power and pace. But equally well defended as well, Sharnaka. Yes, very well defended there. Kovacevic is uh, not someone who will back down easily, but that's a super finish from, from Mine Garden as well. Drove nicely to the basket. We haven't seen many free layups. And suddenly it's four points all. First TV timeout. The game is tied up. Vita Finn with the first points. And this is Triniak. He does it so well. Getting that pass under the basket he is again doing exactly the same thing. And Fanaik emphasized the fact that the Dutch were not going to lie down with that dunk, and that's a nice finish from uh, Van Weingarten. beautiful sunshine and you also do get the shades coming in there so it's a final and it's a big final so no matter whether you lose or win Slovenia wins the league so that's where it stands so it is mandatory for the Dutch to win this if they want to prove a point Trinac under the basket there just not able to control the ball Here's Rota off the inbounds. We'll have to look for the long shot now. And it's good. Rota from downtown. Here's Ravenstein going for the same. And that's a good finish from Van Weingarten. The pass is not uh, good to Kovacevic. So Slovenia leading six points to five, but looking like they're under a little bit of pressure this Dutch team can play physical with the best of them good defense on Vitafian there oh he gets it to go nevertheless superb finish from Vitafian well it seems like an offensive foul yes it is just driving on the force and he just threw his arm out and so it's an offensive foul. Good call by the referee. Good observation. So most of the time when the Slovenian players were driving in, Dutch was on the receiving end. So now it's chance for them to restart. Ravenstein. With a fin. Oh, he makes it count as well. Slams it down. And a foul. Just after the score, Witefian conceding the foul. The so referee is indicating Dutch team is 16 fouls. So another foul again. Kovacevic drawing the foul. He has been. So the question is whether the shot has been given. Yes, it has been awarded. 
So two shots they'll get now. The Dutch not happy with that. You see the green light on the scoreboard. That means that they're into the team foul bonus. Which means that every foul will be rewarded with a couple of shots. Yeah, so it was a foul on the Dutch team. So a chance for the Dutch team to move forward. And they are leading, or rather like it's all even at the moment. Eight all. It's a highly a tight game. That yeah, was a foul. It was pretty much unnecessary. Eight all. Four team falls for Slovenia and seven team falls for Dutch. Rota again with the uh, good fadeaway jumper. Revenstein tries the hook and it goes in off the glass. From Revenstein now to tie this one up. It's no good. Rota from long and it goes in but comes back out. Tekanovic slipping. Triniak has to throw it up. For Nike now to Van Weingarten and Van Eyck is free, lays it in off the glass, no problems there. So it's all tied up. Lovely pass into Triniak, manages to control it and con finish as well. Didn't panic there, Triniak. And a super drive from Van Weingarten. Looks like the Slovenians have just gone to sleep a little bit defensively. The intensity has left them. Yeah, it's all tied up again, 11 all. It's a great finals. Not much of pace in this game, Sharnaka, compared to uh, the games that we saw in semi-finals. But still, there's plenty of things going on in between. And plenty of physical contest. And also, it's, it's, it's an important game. So, Netherlands, they're trying everything to win. Slovenia, well, of course, they want to win. But even if they lose, they still win the league. It's more like a game of chess, isn't it, uh, Clifford? Everybody just feeling each other out. And trying to make the percentage plays. So just a one-point lead, very marginal for Slovenia. So can they extend this or will the touch come back? Good rollover but intercepted. Yes, Dekanovic. Will he go for the long shot? Fakes. Goes straight into Revenstein and uh, draws the foul. So you see. Timeout, is it? Yes. So it's a timeout. So it's a finals. And Slovenia taking on Netherlands. And Slovenia leading by a point 12-11. And Slovenia beat Czechos Republic, Czech Republic in the semi-finals to get into the finals. And Netherlands, they almost survived, I would say, against Sri Lanka to be in the finals. So two exciting teams and two highly talented teams with best set of players. Well, that's the finals. It was a comfortable victory for the Hungry women's team to win the league. And here, it's chance for Slovenia. So Dekanovic will go to the line. Stojan Dekanovic makes it count. So a lead by two now for Slovenia. Not comfortable, but better than one. With the fear and with the long shot. 
Nice rebound by Kovacevic, who has probably been the best player for the Slovenians. They'll need him on. They'll need him on the uh, court for a while. Kovacevic. Shining about three and a half minutes to go, and 14 11 is the score. Do you think Slovenia can hold on to this? Or well, it, I think they can, especially if Kovacevic uh, stays on the court, uh, Clifford. What are your thoughts? Well, the way uh, the Dutch team fought back in the semi-finals, if they continue to do that, definitely likely it's going to be a tough pass for the um, Slovenian team. But on the other hand, my thoughts are with the Slovenian team as well, because they have the capacity to hold on to it. Yes, that was again Kovacevic finishing off what Triniak usually does. That move has worked so well for them. The lob pass over the defender, that's a nice one to finish. Kovacevic again making the difference. He's been off the court for a while when the Dutch came back. But now that he's back, I think it uh, might be just easy, does it, for the Slovenians now. Rota. Superb rebound again from Kovacevic, knew exactly where Rota was. Again, another long range effort. Dekanovic. That's a superb finish from Kovacevic. game has slipped away as uh, Fanaik shoots an air ball he's not someone who's shot many air balls so it's uncharacteristic just a result of the pressure Dekanovic wants to finish it off quickly and Kovacevic makes a hard foul against the Dutch captain Dylan Fanaik who goes down in a heap I think uh, Moab would have hurt his pride more than his body oh that was bang just on the ribcage. <laughs> Kovacevic lifting his finger and acknowledging the foul as if he needed to there. So I'm sure there are medics. Good to see Kovacevic is going over there and uh, Apologizing to Fanaik, didn't mean any injury obviously, but it was just a hard contact. I think he's more winded than anything else, Clifford. Well, I was quite surprised. <laughs> Dr. Chula is trying to lift him. Uh, it's not the best thing to do if he's having a rib injury. You just should let the paramedics to do their jobs. Even though he's walking, I'm not sure whether he's 100% okay. So definitely the substitute player will come in. Just over two minutes to go. 19-14. Could this be an excuse for the Dutch? Pretty much the end of the game for Dylan Fanaik, but didn't think that they were going to come back into this. Not with Kovacevic on. He's such a hard player. Milan Kovacevic. And you're right, uh, Clifford, I mean, if he did have a rib injury, it wouldn't have been the best method to get him up off the ground. And uh, we have Ravenstein shooting for Nike's free throws for him. So, reducing the deficit. Yep, that's two. So, both the teams have scored six plus uh, team fouls. So, they'll get the two shots. So 19, 16, two minutes on the clock. Still, Dash can do it. Oh, nice pass, but uh, hey, hey. good block. defense as well. Rota controls Dekanovic. Triniak now against Vitafian. Here's Van Meingard. Wow, 19 on Shanaka. I think game on now, minute and a half to go on the clock. Well, that's outstanding. Dekanovic sinks it at the buzzer.
and that's the game just before the shot clock expires Dekanovic smacks it home so the Dutch did really well to come back into this game and at 19 all it was anybody's to take but uh, the Slovenians with that Dekanovic buzzer beater took it home in the end so congratulations to Slovenia they've clean swept this uh, five legs five stops rather of the under 23 nations league in this 3x3 tournament